Over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of buzz surrounding Unity's new c -sharp job system. Despite this, i found that it still remains a bit of a mystery to a lot of Unity developers. In this video, I'm going to try to shed a little light on what it is, how it can help you, and what it looks like in practice. But first, are you interested in learning about Unity ECS? Unity ECS is Unity's new implementation of the Entity Component System pattern. It leverages the new c -sharp job system to get you the most performance by default. My series will walk you through how to create your own survival shooter game using this exciting new feature set. You'll learn how to use entities, components, and systems to implement all of the functionality of the player. So what are you waiting for? Check out my series and get started with Unity ECS today. The Unity c -sharp job system is part of a feature set that's being referred to as Capsicum. Capsicum sort of encapsulates this new idea in Unity of performance by default. Along with the job system, it includes the entity component system and the burst compiler. When these three features are used together, your game code achieves some pretty massive benefits to performance. But this video is about the c -sharp job system, so what is it? Well, at a high level, the job system allows you to introduce true multi-threading to your game code. Multi-threading is a type of programming that takes advantage of your CPU's capacity to process many threads at the same time across multiple cores. A thread is a context that holds all of the information needed by the CPU to execute a single set of instructions. Traditionally, applications run all of their code on one thread, called the main thread. But with multi-threading, you can write applications that execute multiple sets of instructions concurrently or at the same time. So how does this help you? Well, multi-threading is a key ingredient in improving the performance of your game code. By splitting a CPU intensive operation into multiple processes that can all run at the same time, you can dramatically reduce how long that operation takes to execute. This results in massive improvements to loading times, frame rates, and battery life. So why do a lot of developers seem to avoid multi-threaded code like the plague? Well, to be honest, writing multi-threaded code is really complicated. For one, it's easy to let your thread count get out of control, which can cause frequent context switching. Context switching is a procedure that the CPU follows to change from one task to another. This happens automatically, and it plays an important role in your computer's ability to multitask. Context switches are expensive because they have to store the state or context of the running task so it doesn't conflict with the one being changed to, and so the CPU can resume it later on. The time it takes to do this can add up quickly, especially as the number of active threads approaches and exceeds the number of available cores. Another thing you need to consider when writing multi-threaded code is race conditions. A race condition is a situation where your code behaves differently depending on the order in which it executes. You can start threads in any order you want, but there's no way to tell how they'll run in relation to one another, or when each one will finish. This indeterminism can result in unpredictable behavior and errors that are hard to debug. This is especially true if two or more threads share and modify the same data. Imagine a room with multiple light switches that all affect the same light bulb. If multiple people enter the room and randomly toggle light switches throughout the day, then it's hard to predict whether the light will be on or off at any given moment. And on top of these examples, there are plenty of other factors that make writing multi-threaded code a complex and difficult task. And that is where the job system comes in. Unity's c -sharp job system allows you to write multi-threaded code easily and safely. It does this by creating jobs instead of threads. Jobs represent units of work that can be completed in a series of steps. They're executed by worker threads that pull them out of a queue which is managed by the job system. Worker threads are individual threads that are designed to complete jobs in the background so they don't interrupt with the main thread. All you need to do is place your logic into custom jobs and then schedule them to run. The job system will handle the rest, executing all of your jobs on separate threads that are managed by Unity. So how is this better than writing your own multi-threaded code? I mean, under the covers, the job system is still creating threads, right? It's still susceptible to all the difficulties associated with multi-threading except that the developers at Unity have gone to great lengths to ensure that their multi-threaded code is ironclad. For instance, the job system will do its best to avoid context switching by only creating one worker thread 
per logical CPU core. This allows you to create as many jobs as you want, within reason, without having to worry about how it will affect the performance of your CPU. The job system also has a built-in mechanism for guarding against race conditions in the form of job dependencies. For example, if job A needs to prepare some data for job B, then you can assign it as job B's dependency. That way, job A will always run first, and job B will always have the correct data. So what does a job look like, and how do you schedule one? Let's take a quick look at an example found in the Job System Cookbook that was created by Stella3D on GitHub. In this example, the job uses Perlin noise to modify the vertices and normals of a mesh during each frame. The job takes an array of vertices and normals, and floats that represent sine time, cosine time, and strength. Its execute method runs for each vertex in the mesh and its corresponding normal. All it really does is calculate a new vertex and normal for the given index. And this is where the power of the job system lies. When this job is scheduled, Unity will queue up as many instances of it as it needs, and the worker threads will begin to execute them in parallel. The more logical cores your CPU has, the less time it'll take for this job to complete. I'll go over an example in more detail in another video, but you can see by the update method that scheduling this job is extremely simple, and the overall code footprint is much easier to understand and safer to write than low-level multi-threaded code would be. So that's the Unity c -sharp job system at a high level. Multi-threaded code that's safe and easy to write and managed completely by Unity. When it's coupled with Unity ECS and the Burst compiler, you get extremely optimized code that's performant by default. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And for more Unity videos just like this one, don't forget to subscribe when notifications on. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you to all of my patrons, and a special shout out to Glasswell Entertainment, NZ, Richard Stance, Thomas, Will and Dingo, and Yakov.